Africans, most especially Nigerians, are known to be the best at whatever they do. World talking, and in the end, at least he had to stand down so a career-ending abyss. I want to say Bismillah. They are mostly seen as very hardworking. However, most stay of their own country because of the claim that the country's economy only pays them back in terrible coin not worthy of their efficiency. This and more is attributed to brain drain in Nigeria. They lure the before and the attraction and they to go and make money in foreign exchange and then come back it's and change it in Naira to have some huge value. In Nigeria, most go for education with the hope of putting in all their best and hopefully graduate with a certificate to get themselves a job to be successful and feed their family. A dream that becomes shady with time. The issue of brain drain is well known by many. Funny enough, most know the phrase not as a problem, but a situation they would like to contribute to in the future by causing more brain drain to the country. Brain drain is the emigration of highly trained or qualified people from a particular country. According to Investopedia, brain drain is a slang term indicating substantial emigration or migration of individuals. A brain drain can result from turmoil within a nation, the existence of favorable professional opportunities in other countries, a form of desire to seek a higher standard of living. Okay, brain drain is generally internationally caused especially about war, famine, these are some apparent reasons. And the other reason, most prominent reason maybe, uh, is political strifes, political struggles in a certain country that causes people from one side to lose faith in their country and then uh, look elsewhere for their uh, employment opportunities. Brain drain can also be defined as the loss of academic and technological labor force through the moving of human capital to a more favorable professional, economic and geographic environment. More often than not, the movement occurs from developing countries to more developed countries or areas. The brain drain syndrome is a critical issue affecting the human resource development index of the Nigerian nation as more Nigerian professionals in diverse fields, especially in the health and education sectors of the nation's economy, are almost on a daily basis leaving the shores of the country for Europe, America and Canada, among other developed countries in the world in search of greener pasture. Recently, it was reported that no fewer than 5,405 Nigerian trained doctors and nurses are currently working with the British National Health Service in the United Kingdom. The figure released by the British government revealed that Nigerian medics constitute 3.9% of the 1,137,000 foreign staff of 202 nationalities working alongside British doctors and nurses. According to the investigation, many more Nigerian doctors seeking to ply the trade overseas will soon join their colleagues because the UK has a need for medics from Commonwealth countries since some doctors in the European Union are already leaving because of Brexit. Actually, I definitely no want to work in Nigeria because Why? We, we all want greener pasture, you understand? So if, if, if I have a greener pasture somewhere else, or I can get greener pasture somewhere else, mm -hmm. I prefer to go there and work and see me the cash. They have to, I'm patriotic, but they just have to provide the favorable conditions for me to work here because after paying so much money to study, then you now receive little earning. It's like loss, wasted investment. So, 
It depends on the course I decide, the field of medicine I decide to choose. Okay. For instance, if I choose um, gynecology, which is which needs many females yes. doctors, so I, I will I will ch I will stay, stay in Nigeria. Nigeria. But if another if I choose like another exotic field that's not very popular in Nigeria, Nigeria. and you decide to you go to yeah. other country that offer you yes. such kind of um, specialization. Yeah. Um, of course, I will agree that there is brain drain in the medical profession in Nigeria. Well, um, there are a lot of effects, no doubt. Um, brain drain is not an issue that started today. It has been occurring for years. And um, the governments on their part need to play a role to avoid that. With the current state of things, um, um, a young professional like me will not want to stay in Nigeria. I would rather go outside to get the best. From the fact that Nigerian resources are used to create medical personnel for the developed countries, the question that owns the earth is what will become of the country when the not enough medical personnel are already at the edge of living or already left. Conducive environment, social amenities, availability, in addition to its security. You, you hear cases of relatives beating up doctors. Those are things that should, the government can look for a way and try to correct it. This development in the health sector has further worsened the physician-patient ratio in Nigeria from 1 to 4,000 to 1 to 5,000, contrary to the World Health Organization recommendation of 1 to 600. However, the UK already has the physician-patient ratio of 2.4 to 1,000 and yet they want more. It is a sad reality that Nigeria is losing its best hands to developed countries in the need to match their skills with comfort and sophistication, most especially in the field that is very important in building a healthy nation, a creative state of mind, education, technology and ICT. Uh, my scientific department, medical physiology, uh, in uh, all developing uh, countries, including Nigeria, also uh, including Turkey, I am, I am from Turkey, uh, brain draining is a very, uh, very big problem. Uh, we, we should prevent uh, this, uh, we, we should solve this pro problem to, to support young scientists, Nigerian scientists, uh, okay, to, 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 to prevent this uh, brain draining. Yes, thank you. There are so many reasons why uh, scholars or academics want to or leave the country as it were. Uh, some because they want better opportunities than what obtains here. And um, particularly for the fact that our government in Nigeria is, is not appreciating the scholars of this country enough. And that appreciation is being uh, seen elsewhere. So there is that urge for scholars to want to try elsewhere, at least to make their lives better than what it is presently. So, but for some of us, we have the passion of our people, of our nation, and we feel, despite the condition, we still want to give our best, so that at least we can be remembered by God and humanity for having contributed our own quota to this great country. I believe in Nigeria, and that is why I'm staying, but otherwise, I will also join the trade, because the treatment we receive here in Nigeria and in academia is not the best of it. Nigeria as a country has the resources, to provide the best environment for their scholars, but that is not the case. I have many friends who left uh, Turkey, leaving different countries and succeeding and doing things that they are unable to do, they were unable to do in yeah. their home country. So it is actually something good. Yeah. And we have both countries, two countries actually, one is losing precious, important individuals from uh, a, a good resource, actually, for the country, losing, 
and the other country is always gaining those people. So it is actually something beneficial for the second country who is receiving the brain drain. Uh, we can look at this uh, from international relations point of view. So basically if a country is attracting individuals, it means they are successful, they are providing more benefits in terms of living uh, conditions and uh, it is normal for someone to uh, go another country. If I stay in Nigeria, I would end up becoming a loser because my career won't be optimized, so I would prefer to go abroad. Really? Yes. The actualization of the same house is wealth it cannot be attained with no proper attention and conscious efforts with enough patriotism in their hearts. A healthy population is what is needed for the development of a nation. Patriotism comes after sound health and job satisfaction. I don't think it has anything to do with patriotism. I think it has to do with self-love. Okay. If loving yourself would lead to a better country, mm. then yes. Personally, I would choose to go outside the country to further my education or to even start my career mm. because of several reasons. First of all, the issue of unemployment in the country. If you study and have a degree outside the country, it is seen to be more recognized. Mm. You understand? And then people tend to give more respect to you. To you because you study outside. Outside. Myopic, you might say, but is it really when we ask ourselves what is the quality of education in the country compared to those universities outside? So, I wouldn't say myopic, I would say they are very right. They need to find ways to develop and improve not just the curriculum but the teachers who are also impacting this knowledge. Because, in as much as a student, a graduate, remains unemployable. And what is the point? Well, other countries are more developed, more advanced, and even educational-wise, you can actually like um, make more research, more research over there, and everything is at the back and call almost. Hmm. Or like here, you have to struggle, struggle, struggle yeah. to get everything. Yeah. So the main reason why you want to go is because it is developed and you have time to Yeah, do and also when you work, you have better reward, hmm. you know, for your efforts than here working in Nigeria, you know, from let's say five, uh, seven to five or eight to five. Without. But even the money you get there, they tax you heavily, you know, right? Yeah, but still, they pay better. Really? Yeah, if you could actually calculate the wages and everything, the taxes you are paying, it will better actually than get more there than seen here in Nigeria. I prefer going abroad. So, like a naive me would say, I'm going to, that I would like to practice in Nigeria. But then, the reality of it is that mostly um, we have a lot of lawyers who graduate from the past school, and then there's not a lot of opportunities open for everyone because, like, the spot is less than the number of graduates. So, and then abroad, they have a lot of opportunities which they render to people, and then it's more, it's safer for me. The success of a country is not only dependent on the government alone, but the masses and also CEOs. We need to create a humane working environment with the love of others and the country at heart. To create the African continent of our dream, we are people from other continents we migrate to. We need to work together. That's it. Everyone seems to have their own opinion, which cannot be easily changed. As for me, as a patriotic citizen of Nigeria, I would like to stay here back in my country to contribute to the growth and economic development of the country. What about you? Yes. yes. What, what about, about you? They'll also be like, oh, okay. well, since I'm my Nigerian, yes, isn't it? Yes, I'm a Nigerian. So wherever I go to in this country, outside this country, I might spend five, ten years, but I will definitely come back to my roots. Why? 
because Nigeria is my hometown and I don't own country. You don't want to. Yeah, it's, it's my just country. because and it's not it. giving you enough. Exactly. So I have to leave, to go. get more, then come then back, come back home. and invest here. Exactly. Hmm. That's nice. I might want to practice in Nigeria because. It's just because I do home and I prefer I'm just used to being at home. And then, like, it's, there are needed doctors here. You need, yeah, yeah. You need a lot of doctors yeah. in the system. Yeah, especially women doctors. Mm -hmm. So, so you want to be a gynecologist? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Why don't you want to study outside the country? It's not that I don't want to. It's just that. You don't yeah, that's my preference. They will pay you better if you work outside the country. There are so many benefits. Mm -hmm. But you still want to stay in Nigeria. <laughs> uh, I love your spirit. Well, I would want to add that in as much as it is good to go out, yeah. explore, study, always remember your home if possible. Yes, and contribute to your contribute quota. Contribute to your quota, exactly. Come back and give back to the society you came yeah. from. This movement is the revolution.